That's coming up next on the VCU Courtside Countdown presented by the Center for Sport Leadership at VCU. We're going to be fine here. Okay. Because this is going to be about six minutes. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Good job, Rodney. Why did I eat that barbecue? Jeez. How was it? I didn't think it was very good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then in the second segment, it goes the Wade interview, the one-on-one -on -one with Coach Wade with Rodney, then shop with the Rams, then Mo and Mel graduating. Mo and Mel should be a Vosot, I think, right? It's VO and then it's Sam. Or is it just sound? Far ahead to even to even think for my own. I mean, as of late, I've been sweet. Uh, just like an emotional roller coaster. I don't want to leave. I love Richmond. I love VCU, but. It's just like the way of life, it happens. So right now I'm just trying to milk the season, not trying to think about leaving but so much, but getting some wins. And uh, that's pretty much it right now. No, because I wasn't even that far ahead to even, to even think for my own. I mean, as of late, I've been able to really gather my thoughts and realize what it was like. But Yes. Okay, that's fine then. So then I'll just talk about it on camera and then throw to it. Great. Okay. Yeah, because we'll probably have to keep it a little tight. Okay. Rodney, gotcha. Okay. So just so you know, we'll probably go closer to six minutes in the first block instead of five, just to eat up. Because unfortunately, block three, um, with a player profile, what's at stake never goes very long. So we need to eat up a little extra time, so. Right, right. Got it. Great, thanks buddy, thank you. You know what, honestly, 
I'm tempted to run this. This is for what's at stake. Like, why don't we just run this? Yeah, easy. And take and take the other thing out of the equation. Right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how long it is, but it, it can't be any shorter than what they do. I mean, I love having the element of them courtside, but it's already in the can. Anyway, you did a good job on Thursday, Tuesday. Did you? I had a good time. Good, man. I know. You can tell. You can tell that you really like it and have fun with it. Wah, 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 All gold wah, wah, today. Wah, 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 wah. I, I like gold uniforms, yeah. but. Now, does that mean they're going to wear black? Because then they, they have to wear white, don't they? They have black on. Because I thought you can't wear two colored uniforms, full colors. They have all black on. I saw them. Really? Right. Yeah. Boy, that's what it looked like. Or is it because when we wanted to wear black, ODU was wearing blue, and yeah. that was too close? Yeah, that's what it was. Um, Johnny Williams going to get some more time today, Will said. I did. He did say that on Thursday, too. Crispy. Crispy. Knuckleball, my man got a knuckleball. So then, so then, somebody's got to have cream, and then you have Krispy Kreme, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, when we first got to be friends, this was like. This was either 98 or 99 when we first like started hanging out. And uh, we went out for his birthday. We went to uh, Sidewalk Cafe went for his birthday. Got all tuned up. And then uh, we had a great night. It was really funny. We were walking out. I was like, man, I'm so happy birthday. And I just punched. Dude, I must have punched him so hard. He talks about it. I'm telling him the story. And I was like, <laughs> he's like, why did you hit me? I'm like, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> it was so fun. So what uh, what are the kids getting for Christmas? Christian's getting a bike. Like a legit bike. Like, like a, a like a BMX yeah. bike. Awesome. You know, with the pegs on the back. That's cool, man. And what about Madison?
It's home for the holidays as the Rams kick off five straight at the Siegel Center with a top 25 opponent. It's number 23 Cincinnati versus VCU. Welcome to the VCU Courtside Countdown presented by the Center for Sport Leadership at VCU. Alongside former VCU basketball player Rodney Ashby, I'm Greg Burton. Happy holidays and thanks so much for joining us. And Rodney, big opportunity for the Rams today to take on the number 23 Bearcats. VCU's trying to stop a two-game losing skid. Last time out, they lost Tuesday night at Georgia Tech. Georgia, VCU had the lead against Georgia Tech multiple times. It just wasn't able to pull it up. Gave up 50 points in the second half, and Coach Wade was not happy with the offensive performance. And, of course, they're going to have the deck stacked against them a little bit already tonight. Jordan Burgess will not play for VCU tonight. Not available. Unfortunately, Jordan got a concussion yesterday in practice. He was trapping Mo Alley Cox. He caught one of those steel elbows, not something you want to go up against. He could be out until after Christmas, Greg. So without Jordan Burgess, who needs to step up today for the Rams? You know, I think you're going to see it's going to be platoon. And I think you're going to see Corey Bilberry step up a little bit. You're going to need Tillman and Gilmore a little bit. Johnny Williams is going to few, get a few extra minutes in this this game because of that as well. This Cincinnati team comes into the Siegel Center with a 9-2 record, again, ranked in the top 25. VCU actually went to Cincinnati last year and beat the Bearcats. They played really well at Fifth Third Arena. They actually broke the Fifth Third Arena number of three-pointers made. They made 15 three-pointers. They matched Cincinnati physically, and they did a great job in the half-court defense. They're going to have to do that again today in order to get a W against this nationally ranked team. And there's a great local connection on Cincinnati. Troy Coppin out of Cosby High School and Midlothian playing for the Bearcats today. Look, Troy is their floor general, and he's done a great job since getting to campus in Cincinnati. They threw him right into the mix early, and it's paying dividends now. And he's got a lot of family and friends here from Cosby High School and Midlothian rooting for him tonight. Let's take a little bit deeper look at tonight's showdown between Cincinnati and VCU with our game notes. VCU 4-1 against ranked opponents in this building and 14 and 37 all time against the AP Top 25. Programs like VCU get a limited number of opportunities to be a part of games like these. The Rams always have seemed to rise to the occasion when in playing in this building, especially recently where they've beaten Butler in St. Louis. The only loss they have in the Top 25 was when UVA had got its place In this building, no question about it. Let's talk a little bit about senior Melvin Johnson. Melvin ranks fifth nationally in three-pointers per game. He's among the top 40 in the nation in three-point field goal percentage, shooting 36 to 79 from beyond the arc this season. Mel is our go-to guy, and we need him every single night. Coach Wade has put a few wrinkles in to try to get him a few more touches. The problem is our opponents know <laughs> yeah. that he's our go-to guy too, and they're making it very difficult for him to get shots off. No question about it. With no Jordan Burgess tonight, a guy who may get more minutes, is Justin Tillman. Justin already has two double-doubles in his first nine games and he scored a career high, 18, versus Georgia Tech on Tuesday night. Tillman's been done a good job of being ready when he needs to be. Tillman's a guy that the Rams need inside, and Coach Wade talks about shooting close twos, and they're trying to create a few more opportunities for Justin. Again, with Burgess out, somebody on the bench needs to step up, and the bench has been good for VCU this year. They've scored 30 or more points five times in nine games. Yeah, I mean, for this team to be successful, we need all hands on deck. Ten players averaging ten minutes or more right now. VCU's going to need to get that type of production night in and night out. If they don't, Coach Wade might tighten up that rotation a little bit. And, you know, I feel like whenever we talk about free throws, it's because they're not shooting them well. We need to give the Rams credit. They're shooting just under 70% from the free throw line this season, and they've actually made 19 of 20 in their last two games. So 70% is the national average in the Division I ranks, and Coach Wade is having happy with that. He just wants them to get to the free throw line a little more often. In VCU's four losses, their opponents have shot an average of 10 or more free throws and made at least seven more. And VCU right now, Greg, ranks 260th in free throws attempted. That's just not our style of basketball. In comparison, the nationally ranked Bearcats that we're playing today, they're 53rd in free throws attempted. Bottom line, Rams have to get to the line more than just 20 times. It's great they've only missed one free throw in two games, but they've got to get to the line more than just 20 times in two games. By the way, the leading free throw shooting team in the nation is shooting 82%. Yeah. So we just need to make sure there's a sort of people understand the perspective and context. When we say, hey, they're shooting 70%, that's that's right around the uh, the uh, Division One average. We got so much still coming up. We're gonna Rodney's gonna sit down with head coach Will Wade. We're gonna show you how the uh, team went Christmas shopping with some local kids, and we're gonna tell you about the two VCU Rams that recently graduated. It's all ahead on the VCU Courtside Countdown, presented by the Center for Sport Leadership at VCU.
represent an opportunity to learn about a career in sports. And at the Center for Sport Leadership at VCU, you will learn inside and outside our classrooms. You will explore the sport industry and gain the practical experience that will launch your career. The Center for Sport Leadership is developing the most prepared, productive generation of leaders in sport. Leaders who will transform the sport industry and define its future. Real world experience, world class instruction. The Center for Sport Leadership at VCU. I went into septic shock and my heart stopped again. My kidneys shut down and my heart stopped a third time. And even though I had to be brought back to life five times, the people at VCU never stopped. And because of that, neither did I. I am Candy Spragans. Thank you, VCU. I make real, well... I want to connect people with ideas. <laughs> My beard makes me me. I want to like travel the world. Medicine is the way to go. Any language, any culture, any background. Being completely open and uninhibited to anything that comes my way. I'd say I make creativity real. That's how I make it real. FanDuel has definitely changed my Sundays. It's made it a lot more interesting. Get more excitement out of every single football game with FanDuel. And with immediate cash payouts and no commitment, you choose when you play. I've deposited a total of $35 on FanDuel and won over $2 million. Choose a one-week league, pick your team, and join the millions of people who've already won money on FanDuel. It's like the best adrenaline rush ever. Try FanDuel today. We'll match your first deposit up to 200 bucks. Go to FanDuel.com and enter promo code TAILBACK1. ECU Basketball on Ram TV is presented by the Virginia Credit Union, the exclusive financial institution of Ram TV. Bruce's Super Auto Body, American Family Fitness, CarMax, the VCU Center for Sport Leadership, by Nationwide Insurance and your local Nationwide agent, and by Joe's Inn. Visit Joe's Inn of Bon Air for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week on Buford Road in Bon Air. Welcome back to the VCU Courtside Countdown, presented by the Center for Sport Leadership at VCU. Before each home game, Rodney Ashby sits down with head coach Will Wade to get a scouting report on the upcoming opponent. So here's Coach and Rodney breaking down Cincinnati in the scout. Coach, VCU welcomes the Cincinnati Bearcats in today. It's the sixth ranked team ever to come and play in the stew. What does it mean to the program to be able to bring a team like this to come in to Richmond and play? Yeah, it's great. You know, Cincinnati's uh, traditionally a tremendous program. They've been to five straight NCAA tournaments, certainly barreling towards a, a sixth this season with Coach Cronin. Um, so it's, you know, these are the type of teams that we want to play at home. And when you get these opportunities at home, you gotta 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 grab them and and, and and take it take it by the horn, so to speak. So uh, our guys are excited. We're excited. And we, we we need to uh, certainly play well today uh, against a very very good team. But we're excited to have a ranked team back in uh, back in the Seagull Center. So you mentioned Coach Cronin. I mean, he's definitely a fiery type coach, and his team plays very similar to that. What can we expect to see from them today? Oh, they're they're they're, they're tough as nails. Um, you know, they they really really get after you. They're going to pressure us in the full court defensively, make us work. Uh, you know, they, they block a lot of shots. They're, they're tremendous on the backboards. Um, so they're just, I mean, they're they're tough. I mean, they're, they're, they're tough and we're going to have to work for everything we get. And if, if we win, it'd be a heck, of, you know, be a heck of a win for us and, and, and one that we really, really worked hard for and, and, and just kind of gritted it out. But, you know, they're gritty, grimy, tough, blue collar, whatever term you want to use. Uh, but one thing that's really impressive about them is the games usually played their way. And so we need to, you know, we, we're going to need to uh, have some things go our way and, and, and get some things uh, in our favor to, to give ourselves an opportunity to, to, to get this thing done. You talk about it playing their way. One of the local products from Cosby High School, Tony, Troy Capion, is uh, the point guard. He's top 10 in the country and assist to turnover ratio. He's one of the ones that kind of drives the pace. I mean, how can we try to affect that or disrupt that today? Yeah, Troy Copain, he's a good player. I mean, he he, uh, <laughs> he 
plays with unbelievable pace, like you said. And he just gets, you know, he drives the bus. He gets the thing in the right spot. He's not trying to take the curves at, at 60 miles an hour. He's going 30 miles an hour when it said the curve is 30 miles an hour. And so he, uh, you know, he, he takes what they give him, and they've got good players around him that can drive it, shoot it. They shoot it a little bit better than they've shot it in the past. And, uh, you know, he's certainly a big physical uh, guard. And, and, you know, they played him when he was young. He's a junior now. He was 16, 17 years old when he got there, and they kind of threw him in there. And, they're reaping the benefits of that now, but he's a he's a really really good player for for their system and what they do. Definitely a blue collar team and second team in a row that really goes to the offensive boards hard. I think VCU hung in there pretty well off it, uh, on the boards against Georgia Tech. How important will it be to repeat that effort again tonight? Yeah, I mean, we, we did. We did. You know, we missed a lot of shots, so it gives you a lot of opportunities to right. hang in there and go get some offensive rebounds. But uh, that's, that's important again tonight. I mean, we're going to need to, you know, negate them a little bit on the backboards. I'm not saying we're going to out-rebound them, but we can't get, you know, we can't get punked by 10 or 12 on the glass. It needs to be 4 to 6. Uh, I believe, like I told you before, for Georgia Tech. And it was five, which was certainly in the margin of what we needed to win. And it kind of got away from us there late. We were we were up on the glass most of the night. So that's that's something that's going to be important to us and, and something that will certainly uh, be a telltale stat. I think that and the free throw line are, are two big time, big time areas to make. Thanks so much to Coach Wade. Rodney, rebounding is going to be key today. Yeah, it is. You know, VCU did a fairly good job against Georgia Tech, just gave it up towards the end. So if they can stay consistent for 40 minutes tonight, the Rams are going to be okay. All right, it's become a Christmas tradition with the VCU basketball program. It's called Shop with the Rams, where the players actually become Santa's helpers. Let's take a look. I thought it was a great experience for our players, great for the community, and something that we definitely wanted to keep going when I uh, when I was able to come back as the head coach. We look forward to, forward to this. Um, when you said it, uh, the freshmen and guys who are new here, I told them the experience, and like I said, it means a lot to me. Just simply, uh, we make these guys day, these little girls as well. I think it uh, helps keep things in perspective that that you know other folks are certainly uh, needy as well, and it's a uh, it's a good way to remember that. It's a blessing, you know, it's, it's a very humbling experience and just taking it in minute by minute. Are the kids having fun too? Oh yeah, they're having more fun than me. <laughs> I'm shopping for myself as well, uh, and they're helping them shop just they come in here with wish lists and being able to fulfill that and their smiles. They, they're a little shy at first, but they, when they start getting what they want and they open up a little more, it's, it's a good thing to see. I think I'm, I've been running around. I see some toys I like, so it means a lot because just seeing the kids happy, making them happy, it just makes me happy on the inside. I just feel accomplished. Just knowing that we got, um, like, just our presence can make an impact on so many kids' lives. They come out, they look forward to us going shopping with them, and we're just us being here, is just enabling them to have more fun being around us and being, being able to go Christmas shopping because getting gifts is something that every kid likes. Man, that'll definitely put you in the Christmas spirit. You know, uh, with the end of the semester, obviously comes winter graduation and. Two of the Rams basketball players actually graduated just last weekend. Melvin Johnson and Mo Alley Cox are now officially graduates of ECU and headed to graduate school. Let's get uh, take a look back at their big moment. Uh, just like an emotional roller coaster. I don't want to leave. I love Richmond. I love ECU, but it's just like the way of life. It happens. So right now, I'm just trying to milk the season. Not trying to think about leaving, but so much, but getting some wins. And uh, that's pretty much it right now. No, because I wasn't even that far ahead to even to even think for my own. I mean, as of late, I've been able to really gather my thoughts and realize what it was like. But as a young kid uh, coming here, it was just mainly about having fun, playing basketball games, and being out there in front of the Seagull Center. I started out thinking I knew the answers, uh, just pretty much having fun, not really thinking about 
being a, a high level scholar and at the same time understanding what it took to be an elite basketball player. So, I mean, as of late, especially this past summer, having an internship, like I said, that was probably the best experience ever, just being able to become an adult early. So that leading to my senior year, that was just, that was everything I needed. I think I'm the only the second person in my, in my family to get a degree. So, I mean, that's big time, of course. My mom is extremely emotional. I'm sure she's going to be there crying. Uh, it's not quite the ending yet, so I don't think I'll be that emotional. I still have a lot of basketball to play. So, I mean, graduating college is, is ideal. That's what you come to college for, unless you're a fortunate enough player to go one and done, you know. Besides that, it's all about graduating uh, college. It means a lot. I mean, on the court, he's someone who always pushes me. Like if I pass the ball out, he's like, you get it, shoot. I'm um, off the court, like we do homework together, or like we all just motivate each other back and forth. And it's just gonna be different without him here. So just try to cherish these last couple months that we have together. Um, it just taught me that um, I could do whatever I put my mind to, especially in, in, in school. Um, some nights I don't want to do homework at all. I just want to lay there, but like I just know by the end of the night I need to get it done, and that's the right thing for me to do. I was do. just talking about it in there. Like right now, it hasn't hit me yet, but when I walk across that stage. I mean, I already have my diploma, but just walking across the stage is going to be a surreal feeling. I have my family there, my teammates there, my coaches there, all these people who helped me get to this point, so it's going to feel real great. I'm not sure. Uh, you can never tell my family because they're unpredictable, but they'll probably be emotional, but I think they're probably going to be even more emotional when I get my master's. You did the looking. You did the test driving. You did the negotiating. You did the happy dance. You did it. Because you got a 1.49% APR car loan from Virginia Credit Union. And you got the knowledge and support you needed to make your car purchase and payments with confidence. Get started today at vacu.org slash car. Every day. Customers get the best service. I'm going undercover. Hey, I need to rent a car. Jim? Mm. Yeah. We got you covered. Elephant called. Let us know you were coming. Great. I already have your keys. And that's it? That's it. That's refreshing. How's the service out there, boss? Perfect. Just like my undercover work. Right on. There's no disguising it. More care, less cost. Discover the elephant difference. Welcome back to the VCU Courtside Countdown presented by the Center for Sport Leadership at VCU. About a little over 10 minutes from tip-off. Let's go courtside for more on today's matchup between VCU and Cincinnati with the Ram Radio crew, Robbie Robinson and Mike Litos. Guys. All right, Greg and Rodney, time now for the Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar. What's at stake? He's Mike Litos. And Mike, man, this is a big one for the Rams, isn't it? Gosh, it's mid-December. Really good Cincinnati team is coming into the Seagull Center. The animal, you can feel that buzz and energy. It's ready to wake up. What's at stake for the Rams tonight against Cincinnati? Well, I'll tell you what. This is going to be the last opportunity in the non-conference portion of the slate to kind of get that skin that we'll look at in March for the NCAA Selection Committee and say, there's a top 50 skin. We've been close a few times with these teams. This is the one to get. What worries you most? What do you think worries Will Wade and his staff the most about this Cincinnati Bearcat Club? Yeah, Robbie, I think it's going to be rebounding. Cincinnati has probably six kids between 6'6 six, six and 6'8. Six, They're all athletic. They all go after the offensive glass. No matter how good or bad shooting team you are, if you've got two, three, four opportunities on every offensive possession, you're eventually going to make a shot. So rebounding is by far and away today's key. All right, he's Mike Litos. I'm Robbie Robinson. We're heading over there to do the radio on 107.3 WBBT. 
Greg and Rodney were throwing it back across the arena to you. Thanks so much, guys. You know, one of the uh, pleasant surprises for the Rams this season has been one of the newest Rams, Ahmed Hamdi, who certainly has been uh, uh, a great contributor in just his first nine games with the VCU program. Our Chris Kowalczyk sat down with one of the newest Rams, Ahmed Hamdi. Ahmed Hamdi. Ahmed, you've been going by Hamdi, but I understand that your name is actually uh, longer than that. Uh, yeah. So for the fans, give me your full name. Okay, it's Ahmed Hamdi, Ahmed, Mohammed, Marwan. So that's my full name. Yeah. Five, names. Yeah, five names. But you prefer Hamdi? Yeah, I go by Hamdi. All right. Now, uh, Ahmed uh, played junior college last year in the, uh, in the Houston area. Yeah. What was it about VCU that stood out? I know there were some other schools after you that, that made you want to come here. Okay, I mean, the, and the main reason, it was like, it was Alex. It was like, he, he used to be with me in Houston and stuff like that. And he's like my... He's like my brother, actually. He's like my big brother, and then I look, you know, I look up to him, and he told me, like, you know, if you come here, you know, I want to carry you, all this stuff, and then I trusted him, you know, and and plus, like, you know, like uh, VCU has a good program, like uh, in the basketball in previous years, so I trusted it, and Coach Way talked to me, and then I trust him when he when he the way he was talking to me and the way he told me that things are gonna be here, so that's the main reason I like I decided to come here, so. Did you know much about the school beforehand? No, I really didn't know much about it. I heard like they they were winning and stuff like that. I watched them watched them a few times before, but I didn't really pay attention to any like to them before. And you know, I was gonna end up there, so yeah. So. Now I I don't know what your crowds were like last year at Lee Junior College, but I assume things here are a little are a little different. What has uh, been playing in this arena been like for you? Oh yeah, it's a lot different. Like we didn't really have that much fans last year when I was in JUCO. But yeah, I mean, it play a big role, you know. Like when you see like the crowd and fans go go crazy, you know, it give you a lot more energy. And once you even play harder and play, you know, play for for VCU. So. And very quickly, you've become a fan favorite. Have you gotten the sense of that that the fans are really kind of, uh, you know, they they really like you. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I'm I'm doing something that fans like and I'm their favorite. I mean, that's something I you know what I'm saying like I would love to to hear about it. So. I met uh, a couple of weeks ago. Will Wade said that he was a little surprised about where you were at offensively, that he, you were ahead of where he thought you would be at this stage. Are you, are you surprised at all about uh, what you've been able to contribute on that end so far? I mean, I thought, like, yeah, I mean, I got better, you know, like since I came here. And then I was not, like, really surprised about it. I just, like, I just let it take time and stuff like that. And, and that's what happened. I mean, I'm working on my game and keep getting better on it, you know. And that's what happened. I mean, I got... When I get like when I get the ball, I just like I was trying to score, you know, don't force no shots, and if I'm open, just just score it. Yeah. All right, Madwell, thanks for joining us, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thanks so much to Chris and Ahmed. What do you like about uh, Hamdi's game, Rodney? You know, I think he's a very serviceable big man. He takes up some space inside, and like Coach Wade has said throughout the year, that he's ahead offensively. As soon as Hamdi can get a little bit more familiar with our defensive scheme. This kid is going to be an incredible player for VCU. And the great news for Ram fans, there's actually a chance that he could have three years of eligibility so for the So this Rams. year and two more. So this year and two more. He spent one year at Houston, one year at junior college, and then now he's going to play, got two for sure, possibly a third. He can apply for a waiver in order to get the third year. Well, certainly this was a really great acquisition by head coach Will Wade. Uh, I would say that he's all Already my second favorite Egyptian basketball player behind our good friend Ala Abdul Nabi, who normally would be doing yeah. this game on CBS Sports Network, but he does games for the Philadelphia 76ers. We've got uh, Dave Ryan and former Virginia coach Pete Gillen on the call of today's game for CBS Sports Network. You know, Coach Gillen came in and earlier today at shoot around, and he's just the life of the party. He still is. I mean, his quotes are are the best ever, and, you know, it's going to be a great game today on uh, CBS Sports Network. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, when we come back, Rodney's going to give us his final thoughts. We'll go through the starting lineups for today's game between number 23, Cincinnati, and your VCU Rams. Stay with us. We'll quick timeout. We'll be back on the VCU Courtside Countdown presented by the Center for Sport Leadership at VCU. You're watching the Courtside Countdown on CBS 6.
Honey, did you call the roofers? Not yet. How's your roof? For roof replacement and repairs, call Cross Timbers Roofing at 275-9373. A lot can happen overnight. And you depend on us to get you caught up when you get up. Never miss a moment. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for starting your day with us. Breaking news. Have that crew just got out here. They're on scene now. Important story. Right here in this neighborhood. Weather to plan your day. Traffic alerts to get you where you need to be on time. We've got you covered before the sun even rises. It's what happens overnight. Right now and the day ahead. Start your day off right. CBS 6 This Morning. Working for you going to be a wet few days in Central Virginia with an additional two inches of rain expected. How's your roof? For roof replacement and repairs, call Cross Timbers Roofing at 275-9373. Hey, it's Ellen. I'm not home. Leave a message and I'll call you back. Um, Beep. The moments that make you laugh. The stories that move you. You must miss your dad. I miss some infinity beyond. And of course, all the biggest stars. Oh, it's a party in here. Have a little fun with Ellen. Tony. Watch Ellen, weekdays at 3 on CBS 6. In every story we report, our mission is to get to the heart of what it means to you. Earning your trust. By alerting you to breaking news. Asking tough questions that provoke real answers. By warning you to scams and rip-offs. Alerts to protect you and your family. Investigating problems. That get you results. Holding our politicians accountable. And not being afraid to go where others won't. To seek and uncover the truth. A team dedicated to working for you. Star Spangled Banner and way O'er the land of the free And the home of the That is Richmond's own Evan McKeel, who you saw perform on this season of The Voice, who actually made a really good run deep yeah. into the show, right? Team Pharrell. Great job. Really good job by Evan McKeel. Let's do our starting lineups for tonight's game. Obviously, Cincinnati versus VCU and uh, Rodney for the Rams. Uh, obviously, a little bit of a different lineup because there's no Jordan Burgess. Yeah, you're going to see Michael Gilmore step in for him and him and Bill Berry. And, you know, Melvin Johnson's our go-to guy. He's going to, I think, don't be surprised if he runs a little point even with Jaquan in. And, of course, you see up there the point guard for the Cincinnati Bearcats, Adam Midlothian and Cosby High School, Troy Coppin. Let's finish up with Rodney's final thought, your three keys to today's game, Rodney. You know, Greg, I usually do three, but I couldn't narrow it down today. <laughs> I had to do a fourth key. So the first thing is, using Coach Wade's terminology, don't get punked on the boards. We've got to be within five or six boards in order for us to be close, and we've got to keep them off the offensive boards. The second thing is, we have to value the ball, especially at the point guard position. We've got to take care of it. We've got to execute our offense. Quick shots turn into the defense of the other team not having to work and getting runouts on the other end. We've got to take care of the ball. The third thing is limit and handle Cincinnati runs. This is a top 25 team. They're going to have some runs. We've got to respond to them, but not get them all back in one possession. Take our time, execute, and we'll be fine. The last thing is we're going to have to match Cincinnati's blue-collar intensity. This is a team that comes out and they match Coach Cronin's attitude. They're feisty. They're very physical. They're right on the line of maybe being a little bit too yeah. physical. We're going to have to be able to take a punch and be okay with it. That's great. Today's game is going to be on the CBS Sports Network for Rodney and our entire crew. Thanks so much for watching the VCU Courtside Countdown presented by the Center for Sport Leadership at VCU. Enjoy the game. represent an opportunity to learn about a career in sports and at the center for sport leadership at vcu you will learn inside and outside our classrooms you will explore the sport industry and gain the practical experience that will launch your career the center for sport leadership is developing the most prepared productive generation of leaders in sport 
leaders who will transform the sport industry and define its future. Real world experience, world class instruction. The Center for Sport Leadership at VCU. Uh, VCU stand up. You don't want to go to war with the Rams. Join a group bigger than the Wu Tang Clan. VCU alumni is key to victory. Gold has more benefits than Richmond has history. 25 bucks is all it takes. Represent the Rams across the states. Discounts, pride, the benefits are stacked. Rolling with the peppers, yeah, that's where it's at. Membership, membership, that's the move. Build a Ram Nation, it's up to you. This is Planet Earth. This is Barnes & Noble at VCU. Here's some VCU Ram gear. When it comes to VCU gear, there's no one here that has as much of it as here. From Nike to Under Armour to Champion, men's, women's, and kids, Barnes & Noble at VCU has all the new Ram logo gear you're looking for to get you ready for game day. Hats, sweatshirts, polos, and more. You can look all around here, and you won't find a better selection than here. Barnes & Noble at VCU, right across from the Siegel Center on Broad. Come by and see these folks before the game. Hello, I'm Gene Cox. You've heard of Elephant, one of the fastest growing car insurance companies in America. But did you know that it's headquartered right here in Richmond? Why does that matter? Because Elephant employees know this market. Elephant provides the best coverage and can save you a ton. And that's the kind of service you just can't get anywhere else. So if you're shopping for insurance, why not keep your money local? Get a quote at Elephant.com. It's the most Richmond thing you can do. Twenty-four, Corey, Bill Burry. New York, number thirty-two, Melvin Jones. 